Hello and welcome uh, to all of you to our learning pills from Building Academy. I'm Bertrand. Uh, joining me uh, today is Esther. Hi, Bertrand. Uh, hello, everybody. Thanks for inviting me. In today's session, we will see uh, everything you need to know regarding backup protection. Uh, Esther, uh, please let me start with my first question to you. Why a backup protection is needed when installing SPDs? Like for any other electric device, SPDs require a backup in case there is an unforeseen issue on the SPD. SPDs have their own internal disconnection system in case of an end of life. For example, in our range of products using MOV technology, this thermal disconnection has been patented under the name of QuickSafe. However, what differentiates SPDs is that the SPD standard requires we verify in the eventuality that this internal disconnection fails, that another device protects against short circuit and overload, the SPD protecting the panel and the installation consequently. Okay, so what does the SPD product standard exactly requires from the backup of SPD? There are two main requirements. First one is the operation duty test. That means that during the normal operation of an SPD, the backup device does not intervene, allowing the SPD to do its work up to the maximum values of rated current IMAX or IIMP we declare for this product. Second is the end of life. This series of tests represent the case of a damaged SPD, and to test this, we use a special manufactured dummy samples where we replace the main components by copper blocks to simulate a short circuit, an internal short circuit. In this case, the backup device must intervene, a trip or a blow, depending on what you are using, fast enough to avoid any physical damages in the SPD within a limited period of time. These last tests are performed with the highest level of short circuit current we declare for the products, that's what we call the ISCCR, as well as with a low value of current. Um, the rules to define this current are in the standard. In both cases, in this end-of-life test, the key pass criteria is the disconnection of the backup device within the time defined by the standard, five seconds, and without any visible damages on the SPD samples tested. Okay, and which devices are recommended in the standard to be used as backup and why? The standard doesn't exactly define the type of backup to use, However, it clearly pushes the choice towards fuses. To do this, the standard provides in different annexes the clear calculation and information about search with stun currents, A20 and 10.350, depending on which type of SPDs we're talking, for the fuses. So for the fuses, it's clear. All the information is in the SPD standard. But for the other devices, basically, it's up to the manufacturer to define all technical details of a correct backup for an SPD. Okay, and in real installation, can we use both uh, fuses and MCB? Yes, we can. As you can see in our coordination and wiring principle tables in the technical section of the global ELSB catalog, uh, basically the fuses calibers you see uh, in this table are those used to pass the test of the standard. However, we provide as well calibers for other products like MCBs. We need to keep in mind that the SPDs have to fit in an electrical installation where the protection of loads and cables and the coordination with upstream devices is mandatory. This is why under this table, you always find a sentence stating in, in tiny characters, maximum ratings must be in accordance with the installation to follow coordination rules with main or upstream short circuit protection. This means that if we have, for example, a 40 amp MCB as a main in comma, in a residential panel, fitting a 125 amp fuse makes no sense. The fuse will degrade the panel but never blow, as the main MCB will trip sooner in case of a faulty SPD. We provide maximum calibers of MCBs and fuses in this table, but our customers must, and I mean must with capital letters, coordinate the protection of the SPD with the upstream devices in installation. So Esther, is there any downside to use a smaller MCB? Caliber? 
The downside of having lower rated protection is that in the event of a surge, if the current generated achieves really high values, the backup MCV could eventually trip. However, keep in mind, we test our SPDs with IMAX values of 20, 40, and 80 kiloamps, when we know most of surges in real installations really reach more than 2 kiloamps. Therefore, a standard caliber MCV will allow the SPD to correctly work in 99% of cases. And eventually, in 1% of cases, the MCV will interrupt the current instead of the SPD to divert it completely to the earth. So does this mean that uh, MCB can replace the SPD during normal operation? No, no. MCBs cannot replace SPDs. Again, in 99% of cases, MCBs are too slow to react against surges. And we need to understand that there is an advantage as well of using low protection MCBs. That is that in the case of an uncontrolled end of life in the SPD, um, if the internal thermal disconnection hasn't worked for some reason, a lower caliber MCB will trip earlier than a high caliber MCB of fuse. So a lower caliber MCB will protect faster the installation. Okay. And what about uh, MCCBs then? Well, MCCBs are even trickier to define than MCBs. We do not only need to define the rated car range or circuit capability, but the tripping unit and settings as well. This is why in the catalog we actually state, after testing, that the Type 2 QuickSafe SPDs can be used for a 275 volt operating, um, continuous operating voltage installation with a TMAX XT4S rated current to 50 and fitting an equip LSI relay with a magnetic setting lower than three times the rated current. Higher settings for the magnetic protection could actually delay the MCCV intervention in case of an uncontrolled end of life, ending up with a damaged SPD. Consequently, we are reluctant about the usage of MCCVs as a backup, because there is a risk linked to the need of respecting the advice settings we provide, and the possibility these settings conflict with those defined by the consultant for the correct protection of the site. I see. Do we need to have a specific uh, protection for the SPD or may we use the main MCB of the installation? Mm. This is a matter of choice. What is more important for you, the continuity to service or the protection of the installation? If the most important condition for you is the protection of the installation, you can use the main MCB MCCB or fuse as a backup for the SPD with the condition that the rated current is lower than what we indicate in the catalog as maximum rating for the backup device. Okay, then what are the risks and uh, advantages of this approach? Um, the risk is that in the eventuality of an uncontrolled end of life, this device trips and the whole installation gets down. The advantage with this approach is that at least you are sure that your installation will only be fed if the well voltage protection hasn't suffered an uncontrolled end of life. Okay. If instead your main concern is to avoid as much as possible any interruption of service, in this case, you better invest in a dedicated uh, backup, back, backup device for the SPD, correct? Correct. In this case, the advantage is that in the case of an uncontrolled end of life, your installation will continue to be fed. The risk, however, is that the backup device trips in case of an uncontrolled end of life, nobody notices it for a certain period of time, and during this time, your installation will keep working unprotected. Excellent. Thanks a lot, Esther. It has been very clear. I believe now, from now on, backup protection has no more secrets uh, for you. That's all for today, uh, Learning Pills. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Thanks a lot to all of you uh, for joining. In the meantime, we see each other again. Please stay safe and uh, see you next time.